project um, I was reading into, it, and it's so basically the point of, was to find out. So heavy metals are in our environment naturally, but humans are the ones actually the cause to release them into our environment because we dig them up in mines or we actually release them in factories. <laughs> so um, in my abstract, I basically explain that like lead, mercury, copper, those are all heavy metals that are released into our aquatic environments, which hurts our fish. So I had to research um, the, the effects of co copper sulfate pentahydrate. Um, also had to research the effects of it on humans, on aquatic environments, on hip, um, and also how they affected the fish, and all of that. But also, I also had to search up what a po what how, how do goldfish dies naturally without having any pollutants in the water because that would have been a factor. So. I had I had vases. I had my copper sulfate pentahydrate. I only need one gram. I got a pound though. And um, basically, we had to put one liter of water in each of the little vases. Then I had my plants, which were Kyoto plants, and goldfish, and they were the twenty-five cent kind. And I would um, I put them all in the vases. How many in each one? Two. One, two. Got it. And then one plant in each. And um, basically, I had to wash out the tank, wash out the the vases. Why? Because otherwise, any residue in there would have been bad. Would have affected the experiment in a different way. And already that, but also I couldn't use soap because that would also would have left fresh residue behind. Then I put in the first the copper sulfate, and th so that I wouldn't. It would be kind of even by the time I put the fish in, and then I put the fish in, so that um, they wouldn't. They would be inserted into the environment that was already polluted. Mm -hmm. Then I kept them there for a couple for days. So it was Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And um, for a while, they seemed okay. They seemed a little bit droopy. They seemed a little bit sick, the, these two. But what was funny was, as the water got dirtier, the, the two groups, the 0.2 parts per million and the 0.4 parts per million, their water was cleaner. And I thought that was an effect of the copper soap and honey because that's what you use as a fungicide and a mm -hmm. pesticide. So it might have like killed kind of the bacteria in the water. So it seemed pretty clean. I was pretty interested in that. Then, um, so I left them there. Finally, the first the first fish died, and it was actually the control, so which was a big mistake in my data because I mean the data wouldn't really work at all if I had nothing to compare it with. Why do you think it, it died? And that's why I researched why goldfish die. Okay. So um, I learned that because the tanks were so small and the fish were a little bit bigger than normal, and there was two of them, uh -huh. they were taking up too much oxygen and releasing, and then I couldn't clean the tank, so they were releasing their poo or their feces into the water. Mm -hmm. And their feces creates ammonia. Mm -hmm. And since the tank, the little vases were small compared to the fish, eventually they poisoned themselves with their own ammonia. Yep. And Right, actually, I noticed right before they actually died, they were trying to gulp air out of the tank. <laughs> they were just gulping, 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 and then one of them actually tried to get out. <laughs> and um, so it it was, yeah, there were some factors that were pretty funny at the point. And so after that, I just stopped the experiment. I, t I messaged you, Mr. Rosa, and I stopped the experiment, and I left two alive. There's the two. And what's funny was that these, the, the, the ones with the most pollution died, the ones with the least pollution died, but the ones in the middle never died. Okay. Which Does that back to your hypothesis? What did you think was going to happen? I thought they were all going to die if they were polluted. Okay. And I thought the control was going to live, or at least I thought these were going to be hurt. What was the difference? Um, why do you think the middle ones lived? I think because it wasn't... I think this had an effect because I think the carpenter would did kill them because it's supposed to. It, mm -hmm. it, it's supposed to kill them. But I think what happened was that there wasn't enough for it to actually affect them. Mm -hmm. And if left maybe a little bit longer in that water, they would eventually die. And they're still alive? They're still alive. I oh. switched them back to normal water. After. Okay, so they're back in yeah. normal water. Can you tell me uh, your statement of hypothesis, please? So my hypothesis was... It's in here. Wait, I thought I it. Feel free, it's okay. Um, so... Oh, it was my statement. So, my hypothesis is if I put copper sulfate pentahydrate as a substitute for lead or mercury to basically show heavy metals, then the fish in the two parts, point two parts per million group will either die or be very slow and hurt, and the fish in the point four parts per million will die because of the high amounts of heavy metal in their aquatic environment. I believe the plants will be hurt but not necessarily be killed because it really will take longer for them to absorb the actual water. Yeah, what was the reaction? I'm interested in the the two control groups. The plants stayed alive the in plants. the two that they died. So no, they were fine. So there was no, no effect on the producers. No, yeah. 
If, um, what do you think was some of your experimental errors? I think one of the experiments was that the fish weren't all the same size. Okay. So, which was kind of hard because I think that's why also the majority of the reason why the control fit control group died mm -hmm. because I got a really big fish for 25 cents for some reason <laughs> that I don't know how I got it. It was like one of the five dollars, but in the two, but I <laughs> put it in there and it took out all the air. And actually, I put, I had put one of them in my um one of my own goldfish I have at home uh -huh. in there with him. And so my own goldfish died because <laughs> my um, the, the, the other little one I had bought had pretended to die, and then we put him into the water with no water, and somehow miraculously he came back to life. So yeah, um, awesome sauce. Um, <laughs> yeah. What's some future research? If you were to do an extension, if I said I want you to uh, take this experiment, do another science fair next year, what would you do to build on this project? I think what I would do instead would be, um, well, first of all, I'd use bigger tanks, okay. and maybe instead of using one liter of water, I would do two liters so that the fish could be more comfortable in the water. Okay. And they would be able, and then I would be able to, I would pollute the same amount or maybe a little bit more, just to see the effects because mm -hmm. I'm feeling that there wasn't much effect in the fish. Would you use more fish or would you use more test groups? More test groups. Tell me how. So I'd have two parts per million, four parts per million, six parts per million, okay. and point eight parts per million. Awesome. So that it would increase. And also because the reason why I think they didn't die was because this experiment was originally for snails. And I have found that the snails would have been less, more vulnerable to the pollutants. Mm -hmm. And the fish weren't, I weren't as vulnerable to it, I feel. So, so. what does that say if, if you're going to relate this to the environment? What does that say? That the last question. Yeah. Usually higher, higher pollutants are probably the ones that kill the fish, not really lower pollutants. Okay. That's cool. that we're from in the environment. Can you show me please your, your citations and your data records, please? So citations. Here's my work cited. Okay, perfect, thank you. And my what, my notebook? Yep. Um, I just want to see your data collection. My data collection. Um, I noticed it says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Can I see your data collection? Do you have dates in there? Um, I have Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. Okay, so it doesn't have dates. So um, again, were they getting light? Was my question. Uh, they were right. They were basically right in front of the window, so they were getting. So they light. were getting light. Yeah. Could that have been a scientific error? I think maybe if they would have been. I mean, but the thing is, fish normally live. They usually get light. Yeah, but plants photosynthesize, so different levels of light would have caused different oxygen levels being produced mm -hmm. in the tank. So depending on how close they were, or whether the plants were getting e equitable exposure to light, could have. Definitely been an increase in. They were a ways from. Yeah, I'm just thinking from the control group point of view, that might have been an impact yeah. because um, you, you also can't ever measure if Kyoto glass is exactly the same size. Yeah. You can do the diameter. So you, I noticed if you look at the picture of your control group, it does look a slightly smaller than the one in your second group. Yeah, but yeah, it was, that's why I noticed too. I mean, a lot of the fish and stuff, I couldn't get the exact same size. So if, maybe if I could have maybe a little bit more budget you could say I yeah. could get the exact same fish yeah. size or more fish or and I was even thinking like a filter I know you and I talked about it during your progress but instead of a plant perhaps a filter that would hydrate the water equitably so yeah. instead of bowls we would do three filters and that way we would know that it was getting the same amount of oxygen yeah. pushed through thanks that was great thank you very much excellent